Let's dance. Oh, there it is. Let's dance. He likes to dance. Tack of Junkies, what's going on everyone? Really appreciate you guys and gals for clicking on the video. Got a fun video for you guys today. In today's video, we're going to go through what's in my boat. If you guys don't know, I'm running a 2020 Crestliner XF 189. I got a walkthrough video on this boat. I got a video breaking the motor in, fishing videos. I'll link some of them down below. Definitely check them out. Before we go any further, big shout out to Carl's for sponsoring today's video. I have a code which will pop up on the screen right now. Of course, I'll link them down below. Definitely check them out right now. They got some great deals going on for the holidays. I do believe it's 20% off on subscription boxes and gift cards. I do believe I will put that info in the description in case I'm wrong, but definitely check it out. Big shout out to Carl for sponsoring today's video. Also guys, if there is an echo, in the uh, the audio, I do apologize for that as well. The garage door is shut. It's below freezing outside right now. So trying to keep the warmth in the garage. But like I said, going to do a little what's in my boat type video. Unfortunately, I don't get to fish too much this time of year. Uh, like I said, today is below freezing, which is Friday. Uh, Wednesday was only a high of 34. It was blowing like 20 out of the north. So that was way below freezing with a wind chill. And if you guys don't know, I own a mobile truck washing business. So I wash trucks for a living. It's um, all year long. So basically what I have to do is just kind of juggle the days around. I at least have to get out three days a week for the business to go to three different locations, three different FedEx locations, you know, through the week. And uh, like I said, that only left two other days through the week. I work weekends. And like I said, both of those days were below freezing. So I didn't get out to fish this week. Like I said, I may get out a few more times I really don't know. It's kind of funny. Some guy a long time ago was like, oh, you just don't want to fish in the cold. <laughs> I mean, seriously, dude, what I do for a living is way worse than standing out there all bundled up fishing in the cold. You know, try getting sprayed with water all day long and your beard and your face is all ice. That's a little more fun, right? Anyways, enough of that. Like I said, I only have so many days to work with and I got to make sure I get my work done before I can play. So anyways, that's that. Enough jaw jacking. Let's go ahead and hop into what's in my boat. Okay, back deck, compartment number one behind the passenger seat. There's an identical compartment behind the driver's seat, which we'll go to next. I actually have a bin here. I think we're going to take everything out of this boat so I get everything organized for next season. But you can see this compartment here, I mean, it's really like a catch-all. Uh, it's closest to my tackle room, so anything new that I want to try ends up in this compartment right here. But I mean, there's just so much crap in here. Little screwdriver set that comes in handy. Doesn't even belong in this compartment, but that's where it is at the moment. We got some missile chunks. We got some structure bugs. I mean, it'll, I guess it'll take forever if we go through every single bait. You guys can kind of get an idea, though, what we're working with here. Some vial tubes, plasma tails. Love these tubes here. These are the Mega Strike. Love these tubes. Some more plasma tails. I didn't get to play around with these too much this year. These are the Hog Farmer uh, Spunk Shads. That's a great little chatterbait trailer, though. Didn't play around with those too much, but I definitely like them. What do we got here? Some flipping biffle bugs. Little spotties from Picasso. Some more structure bugs. Slobber knocker. Man, I got a huge order in from Berkeley. If you guys want to see an unboxing of that stuff, definitely let me know. A chunk cross. Love those. Some more Jean LaRue. What are these things? The mega ring tubes. More tubes and uh, cut our worms. You guys get the idea. This box is just uh, loaded with a little bit of everything. There's no way we can go through every single bait. You gotta have your bulk bag of yum dingers. More tubes and chunks and crankbaits. I love these Shimano crankbaits. I do have a review on these. I'll link it down below. Definitely check that out. Some six cents hard baits in here. More six cents hard baits. More slobber knockers. The War Eagle, uh, the Ju Jigsu. I remember when I first got those, I couldn't say that. A little trailer hook for a frog. More crankbaits. More.
more crankbaits, a little bait sack. I think it's one of the actual the Shimano crankbaits in there. Love the bait sack. Definitely check those out. I got a video on those, which I'll, which I'll link down below as well. Pad crasher. Little uh, flipping pitching jig from Picasso. More jigs. Extra strap for a battery. Crankbaits, jigs. Hey, you guys get the idea here. We got over here. More tubes, empty packages. Little Catchco mini popping filthy frog, some Guggen baits. We got an extra kill switch cord in here. Looks like a KVD 1.5. Little slobber knocker. I think that's the munch from Six Sense. All my paperwork. And you can smell this box right here as soon as you open this lid. This is all of my JJ's magic. Got some fish sticks in here. A little of the hog tonic. So yeah, this stuff here, man, this, that stuff is ripe. I'm a big believer though in scent, so I always keep that with me. And this here is another chain, an extra chain there for my lure retriever, which I got a video on that as well, which I can link down below. I do believe that's everything out of here though. Nope, what else we got here? Got a little uh, head hunter, 10,000 fish head hunter. And now that is it. So we'll leave the JJ's in there. We'll leave that in there, put the paperwork back in there, and those couple baits. And that'll do it for this compartment here. Okay, back deck, compartment two behind the driver's seat. Before we hop into that, a few of you guys did ask about the size of the Dakota Lithium Charger. You can see they're compared to my hand. It's a pretty small charger. I could have used the onboard charger that came with my boat, but it wouldn't have charged the lithium batteries all the way up. So I would have had to top them off with these chargers here. So like I said, I just took it out and I only use these. And I have a video on those batteries, which I will link down below. Definitely check it out. But like I said, it's pretty, pretty compact, pretty small in size there. I also keep a little Klein Tools meter on the boat as well. It's checking volts, so I have it out at the moment. But like I said, I keep one of these on the boat as well. We have a bunch of hats in here. We have a pair of sandals that never leave the boat. Only some of you guys are going to know about these. If you're one of them guys, leave a comment down below. If you guys remember the old tracker days, we had some sandals and shoes that never, never leave the boat. We had a bunch of buffs in here, fish monkey buffs, mercury, under armor, a little socket set in here. And then we have a prop wrench, a little prop tool. It'll hold the prop in place so you can break the nut loose with the prop wrench. And like I said, a little 3 8 drive socket set. So not too much going on in here. Okay, next up we have the center console here between the seats. Really one of my favorite compartments on the boat. It is lockable. Put all sorts of goodies in here. We do have another buff in here. Scale. These are for my phone. I have a couple of these little ram mounts. I put them on the dash. I store another one here. You can see they're under the lid, but it's great to put on the dash. I can put a GoPro on these. I put my phone on these uh, to get pictures and things like that. Like it's a little ram mount suction cup deal there. Um, scale, super glue, hook bonnets, KVD line and lure. These are great as well for like mic wires and things like that. Just tie things up really quick. Another one of those little deals for my phone that goes to the ram mounts. We got some scissors in here, some kudos, some mustads, some mustad hooks. A little box of tricks here. Some stuff from Rapid. That's the Rapid line clips there. We got uh, the Rattlesnaker. Got a video on that, which I'll link down below as well. Some extra blades and things like that. So. Just a little, I don't know, a little box of stuff that I tinker with. Keep that in there. That should wrap it up for the center compartment there. Under the driver's seat, and there is storage under the center console as well, but you have to access that through either under the driver's seat or under the passenger seat. We have our keys under here, a little light from Yolo Tech. Really like this light, handy little light there. 
a little mount from Railblazer. They got some pretty cool stuff over there. I have a video on some of their stuff. Definitely check it out. But you can mount a camera on here, a fish finder. It's pretty cool stuff over there. Some accessories for my Yolotech sticks. We got some rags and straps for sunglasses in here. We got a uh, charging cable, some more accessories here from Railblazer. These things are really cool, guys. Again, check out that video. You can mount these all along the track and the gunnel. So I can move my camera mounts all along the boat just to get different shots. But they're good for more than just camera mounts. Definitely check those out. A little container here from Walmart. Got a paddle under here. Then under the center console is where I keep my little jump starter. I keep one of these in the truck, one in my boat here. This one is from uh, Nautic Sport. It's the Nautic Start 2. I got a video on this, which I'll link down below. Not sure you can even still get these anymore, but I'll link it down below. But like I said, great for jumping a dead battery, charging your phone, charging a GoPro. So pretty cool there. Nautic Start 2 Power Reserve Jump Starter. And that should wrap it up for underneath the driver's seat. Under the passenger seat, we have some fish monkey gloves, some fish monkey buffs. And I got a video on why I wear the fish monkey stuff. I'll link it down below. Definitely check it out. Wiley X sunglasses, I got a discount code for them, which I'll link down below as well. We got some Mustad tools, we got some CUDA tools, anything from a needle nose to a snip, to a hook cutter, scissors, forceps, fish grips. We got some lure retriever stuff in here, so just a bit of everything. Then along the side here, I do believe I have one of my, my running lights there. So that should wrap it up for underneath the passenger seat. So on the passenger rod ramp here, I store my lure retriever, which I have a video on, I'll link down below. Yolotech Boomstick. Here is the Railblazer Caddy. That thing there is pretty handy, really like that. And here's one of the mounts that I was talking about. Here's the track. That track runs all along the gunnel. So you can move these wherever you need them, lock them down with the nuts. And here's one of the camera mounts. A few different adjustments on this mount as well, so you can get whatever shot that you're trying to get. The neck adjusts as well, so definitely some pretty cool accessories there from Railblazer. Besides the storage under the seat, this is the third compartment, front deck, passenger side. I'm sure you guys are going to ask about what's under the lid here. I have a video on that, which I'll link down below. Definitely check it out. I believe it's even called What's Under the Lid. But you guys want to see what's in these boxes. So let's hop right into it with jerk baits. Now guys, I absolutely love the edge boxes, but this box here, I'm not a big fan of. This is the small crankbait box. And you can see here, even with a thinner crankbait, they still rise up out of those rubber pegs. You can see here, these ones here are laying on their side. To me, it kind of defeats the purpose of the box. I mean, it works, but I'm not a huge fan of it. Those are jerk baits there. And I have a lipless box as well, same box. And you can see here, they kind of just rise up out of those pegs. These ones stayed in place, but they did kind of rise up out of the, the pegs there. Not a bad deal, but again, I believe I can organize them better with a different box. And we'll do more videos on that in the near future. Then we have a flat-sided box. This is just your standard Edge 3700. Got some shad wraps in there. Got some flat sides. Shaky head Ned box, 3700 thin. I'm not a huge finesse guy, but if I have to toss finesse, I love tossing a shaky head. Got a bunch of Ned heads in there as well. Underspin. Love tossing underspins. This is the Picasso Lures underspin. Like I told you guys in the past, I buy the heads and the blades separately and I make them up on the go. Love the Picasso Lures underspin. And we got uh, some square bills, standard 3700 box, KVD 1.5s, Bomber Square A. Those are my go-tos. We got a frog box here. 
frog box, a little bit of everything in there. Swim jigs, this will be in a different box, or they'll be in a different box next season for sure. Swim jigs, 3700 waterproof box. Uh, swim bait hooks, love tossing a swim bait, like the 4.75, XO swim, the Kitex, things like that. So I don't toss none of the big stuff, but I love tossing a swim bait. Again, that's the 3700 thin box. We got a little Busby box in here. Variety of lures in there. Some of this stuff is what I take to the ponds. That's why they're in the smaller boxes. Here's some buzz baits. 3600 edge. Here's another 3600 edge. Little jig box from Ned Head to New Tech Heads, Ball Heads, Scrounger Heads, Shaky Heads, you know, jigs, swim jigs. Just a little bit of everything. Again, this is kind of like my a little pond box. And then we got uh, really just kind of like a box of tricks in here. Just a bunch of little terminal type stuff. Next we have treble hooks. A little box here from Flambo. Cool box, I wish it was waterproof, it's not. Most likely I'll switch that up next season. Put all my treble hooks there. And we got Angler Aid, well, first aid kit there. I got a video on this, which I'll link down below. Definitely check that one out. And we got, guys, this box right here is still one of my favorite terminal tackle boxes to date. This is the Battle Box from Calco's Fishing, which is now Tackle Works. I got a discount code for them, which I'll link down below. I believe it works on the boxes. But guys, this is an awesome terminal tackle box. I got a video on this. Definitely check it out, I put a lot of thought into organizing this box. But a killer terminal tackle box right there. And definitely check out that video. And then last up in here, looks like we have a ton of spinner baits. You guys know I love tossing the spinner bait. These here are all half ounce. These are the, uh, the Plano Edge spinner bait box. We got a bunch of um, Omegas in here, Molex, uh, Z-Man, Accent, so a bunch of those. We have, these here are a bunch of uh, War Eagle. Some War Eagles. I think there's some Mega Bass in there too. Mainly War Eagle. And then these here, This is my main box. Three eighths. Majority of these are Picasso. We got uh, Strike King in here, Terminator, Z-Man. I mean, just a, a bunch of different spinnerbaits in there. Love tossing a spinnerbait. That should wrap it up for box number three. Compartment four, front deck, driver's side, mainly soft plastics you can see here i use a lot of the speed bags this one here is one of the newer speed bags this is the 3600 size here's the older ones here which they had two sizes in which is the the smaller size and the larger size and to be honest when they went to this new style here they still had that smaller size but they went to this 3600 size and i feel i can actually get more plastics really in this style here. So if you open this one up, you can kind of see the room that you're working with. I mean, they say you can fit 40 bags in there. I don't feel you can fit really anything near that, but you can kind of see how you're set up there, okay? And when you open up this bag, I guess really what it is, you have more height in this bag than you have, you know, length. So when you fold down the sides, then you can see kind of the room you're working with and it's better for, you know, taller packages like swim baits, you know, things like that. So like I said, whatever works for you, it's still a great bag. But like I said, I feel I get more plastics in this bag, you know, this large versus the new 3600. Either way though, still love the bags. They still work great. It just depends what you're putting in them. But this bag here, it's got a bunch of grubs and 
and things like that in there. And this one here, like I said, a bunch of swim baits. Uh, we got some rage toads in here. Some of the stow all bags, like using these for plastics and things like that. And here's a stow all bag loaded with biospawn, bile craws, and bile bugs. Those are the, the bamba craw color. I got another one in here, I believe, in black and blue. Black and blue, bile craw, bile bugs. Here's some of the baits left over from the, uh, what's that stuff called? Um, the bait fuel. Then we just got some more uh, toads in here and biffle bugs and flukes and more flukes and more flukes and more flukes. Yeah, a bunch of fluke type stuff. And then uh, like more fluke type stuff, more fluke type stuff. You think I would have a a bag full of flukes, but for whatever reason, they're all loose in here. But yeah, more speed bags in here. What do we got in here? This one here is really full. This one is uh, loaded with uh, yum dingers, ton of yum dingers in there. And we got, um, you can see you can fit a lot in these bags. I mean, I don't think I'm anywhere near 40, but there's a lot in here. Uh, these are all, uh, what are these? Missile baits, uh, craw fathers, and things like that. Uh, menace grubs, and yeah, stuff like that in here. Then we got, uh, what's this? Yum craws, chunks, and things like that in there. And we got, we got, uh, these some more swim baits in here grande fishing excite baits reaction innovations uh yeah so some more swim baits in there we got this is probably a frog bag looks like we got some loose swim jigs in here as well swim jigs and yeah ribbit frogs and spine craws yeah these are all kind of like my Rage toad type baits, and then everything I would use for like a buzz bait trailer. You can love the spine craws and things like that. Biffle bugs, and yeah, so just a, just a variety of, of frogs and buzz bait trailers in there. Got my YOLO stick in there, got a rope, got a throw cushion, uh, more flukes, and we got some boxes of swim baits in here. These are mainly my. Uh, my bio spawns, but I got some Kytex in here as well. You guys ask all the time about this. I never have any issues with damaging my soft plastics by boxing them. If anything, it'll damage the boxes, but it, it doesn't really affect the soft plastics. At least with my experience. I've been boxing baits for years. I got videos, you know, super old on this, and I never had any issues with boxing uh, soft plastics. And I do use the Plano 3700 series, you know, the watertight boxes. But yeah, there's the, the 4.75 size, that 4.8. Here's a 3.25 box. And then here is a four inch box. Like I said, mainly my, my Exo Swims and then my Kytex, those are the main ones that I use. And then any ones that I don't have a lot of, I put in one of these boxes, which is the Edge Soft Plastic Box. And we got a bunch of different stuff in here from the Six Sense Divine Swim Baits, the Jack All, um, some more um, Kytex. So yeah, just a variety in here as well. But I don't have a ton of these, so I keep them in here. But baits that I have, you know, multiple packages of that I use often, you know, like the Kytex and the Exo Swims, I'd rather box those the way I can carry more of those just because the clamshells, they take up a lot of space. But guys, that should wrap it up for uh, this compartment as well. Just seeing, I got another paddle in here as well. So we got two paddles on the boat. Compartment number five, rod storage. Keep my net in here, which I have a review on. I'll link down below. Looks like we have some random soft plastics in here. Yeah, Money Crawl, that's one of my favorites. Uh, Guggen Baits, Blazing Worm, I got a review on that worm. Definitely check it out. Wooly Hog Crawl, 
looks like uh, the magnum finesse worm i can see some six cents ridge worms hiding over there some mustad hooks uh toad slayer some rattle bands bunch of rattles bunch of rattles in here swim jig more rattles uh tungsten weight and I seen the bottle of uh, yeah, bait fuel over there in the corner. Bait fuel, which I have a video on this stuff as well. Definitely check it out. As far as combos go, it looks like we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve combos in here. I've had up to two dozen and still had room. It's a super spacious rod box. Really do love the size of this box. And like I said, I got a dozen combos in there now. I've already been taking some stuff out. But we can kind of go through what I have tied on. We won't take them out of here, but we'll kind of go through it. Looks like we got um, spinner baits. That's the Berkeley spinner bait, which I got a video on that one as well. Loving the new Berkeley spinner baits. We got a Kai Tack on. We got uh, Rage Toad. We got the Vile Bug. We got some Square Bills. We got the Underspin. We have another spinner bait there, Buzz Bait. We got. Uh, that's that yum woolly hog craw, another frog, and this is a cranking rod with no crankbait on it, and then another cranking rod there with no reel on it. So that's what we we're working with last time out. And while we're here, guys, if you have never seen these, I talked about them before, you guys got to check out these bait sacks from Calco's Fishing, which is now Tackle Works. You can see here I have two crankbaits in the sack, one tied to my line and then an extra one there in the sack. But this is just a cool little deal here um, just to keep the hooks contained, whether it's in a rod box, whether you're traveling with your equipment, if you don't have a boat and your gear's in your car, you know, the bait sack keeps the hooks you know, out of your seat, out of your carpet, you're not snagging your other equipment and all that. Definitely check out the bait sack from Tackle Works. But guys, that should about wrap it up. Like I said, I don't want to spend too much time going over every combo. We'll do a little rod and reel arsenal down the road to cover all that. But man, that should, that should wrap it up. Well, guys and gals, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. You know, I thought it was kind of a cool video going through what's in the boat. It might give you guys an idea of a way you can organize your tackle. Not saying it was really organized at the moment, but it will be. That's kind of my plan moving forward from now till spring to get things really organized, get the boat loaded up and get out as soon as possible. But like I said, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. I like watching videos like this. It gives me ideas and hopefully you guys enjoyed it as well. Really appreciate you guys watching. If you guys liked the video, be sure to smash the thumbs up. Love you guys. We will see you guys on the next one.